Warning, this program may contain visuals that might offend sensitive viewers. Parental guidance is advised. Shabati udliwa kakhulu bomake emhlabeni jikelele kepha ngabe lesi sidza kamiva lesingakana ke ki futhi lesibulala kancane kancane Mama uthuma kula i TikTok bantu babhizi bafuna bayenzi i content ngayo Oh, can't you back home? Can't you back home? No, nobody said she's fine. It was like an addiction because it came to a point that I couldn't live without it. If you're eating dirt, you're more likely to have parasite infection, so then you get worms. Lomshabati, Utfolavala Melula. Hello, Michelle. Okay. 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 Agma Casimende, Butaputa. Ama customer, my old fool. Since I would tell my customer about it. I'm Shabbatin, and I turned them out. I'll turn and Jim Oguay. Yeah, I'll turn and Jim Oguay. I tell you, I'll buy Mong Air Conji. I'm going to tell them playing for them. Now I'm Shongo, only Minyaga Lingo twenty four. Ushala E. Orlando West, Esoweto, Esfunzenza, say how day. Uthi sekuphele emnyaka lengu-7 adla umhlabathi. Angikhona ukuhlala ngawudla umhlabathi angikhona. Kumele ngimake sure ukuthi ngiyawuthenga. Yo, lana u u u uphephila khosa futhi uthanda abantu like abantu uyaphela lo mhlabathi le. Like abantu abantu bawuthanda ngakhona. Most into enze ukuthi lo umhlabathi bephephila abantu aba pregnant ithanda abantu aba pregnant. Ozvulele likhase tinkhundlente kuchumana lapha cocesana khona nalabanye labadla umhlabathi into ethiphila nayo ingathi into enormal njengaba abantu ababe umgwayi yabo abantu abaningi bayakha njengoba umuntu ayiphuste kanje umuntu yabo uyabhala ukuthi nje until when i want to place an order yabo khona abantu abawuthengisa online the way umhlabathi udlwa ngakhona uyakhona nokuthenga online ngaqala ngokugaba nje ngumntwana after lapho ngawuza sebi into nje engihambela kamnandi so bese ngumntwana angihamba ngiyothenga ngiyofihle ngifake ekuteni ukuze ngiqini bangabona Babo lama baje twa khona uyathengisa umhlabathi hayi ngokudlala Conan <laughs> 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 
Nyo bega shell nem ganwake. Ukalego tissing am veti. So yin then he enjoy. Oh, we can't keep up on, can't keep up on, no? But that's it, she's fine. Almost all the legs, we feel like we're in jail. It's like a camera, so I can't tell you. Yeah, we feel like we're in jail. Like, not to you, not to you. Like, not to you. Oh, I'm not going to tell you. But you're not going to like what's going to be? Good I sometimes about our Pemayo, Maratre to good or Maravu excel full of Pemuqua. So Nam Mutanjadum, Mang Vuga, Mantre to Gula, and Funugula on Shavat. So it's an addiction. Yeah. No Vuga would drink a man Halelagatia yeah. Vuga or drink excel. Baba Wilson, Malalanda Veni, what is a Pelem Yarale Michana thing is on Shabati? Taking it as a local Yalanga <laughs> Baba Malalenda Veni, Uti, Agawati Lom Shabat, go to Kamga Gupi, Moba Kona Banfula Bam Letelago. Lom Shabat Silonaman Susa, I shall say, not to Kamuga a mine. Lom Shabat was a mine. Cos of Baksum Shabat to own a Puman Jew Uto Liji La. This was suit him. I can't have my mind, Lawa, and I said, Rode Port. Loyam Saba lawyer, Wolo, and you would like. Yep, who you suit like? Who suit like? Yule. I'm free. I figure any Ask about fall, Banfula Bacupago. Nagoge, see the stern sego se good tea. Lomunia Walum Shabat, Labau Lago, Utsat for Lapa. Gepa, etingun lente kumana, gunem fanegi, so ya glamanye mave, lebonisa lak tatwa kona lom shabati. Gule magete, skanze atengi swange masaga, ganye nange mapagete lom shabati. Lisa le lingan selo agu 8 kilograms libital kulu le marandi. Bese guti 5 kilograms yel bagete ibite 45 we marandi. Lois Gona, usala e road report esponsenza se hauteng. Na yege, uge wa uja um shabati. Godfa, se wa uyege la. It's common in like in a, a lot of places. For example, in Zimbabwe, that's where I come from. It's, it's common. You see it everywhere. People selling it, people eating it. You see a lady walking with a plastic full of it, eating it. I also went to Zambia like several times. I've also seen it as well. I also went to Botswana several times also. It's also there. You see in the market, people are selling it. So I think it's, it's, it's in most countries. I was about 15 years old when I started eating clay. And uh, the reason being that I saw my auntie was pregnant. She used to go with me to buy it every now and then. So we'd go together, buy it, she would eat. So the way she was eating it, 
it's like she was eating chocolate, you know. So to me, I was like, let me taste it. Because this thing seems like it's, it's, it's nice the way she, she used to eat it. And how did it taste like? Not like, like chocolate as I, as I thought. It was, <laughs> it was not like chocolate exactly, but it was nice. It, the taste, it's, it's, it's something that you'd want to eat again when you eat it at first. And uh, I think from there, it, it, to me it was like an addiction because it came to a point that I couldn't live without it. So that's how I kept on eating it. When I started, I was eating like small amounts at first. Small amounts, or maybe I can eat it twice a day, or maybe once at the beginning. But it get to a point whereby I was eating like any time. Any time, and even after my meals, if, if I want to get satisfied, I must eat the clay. Then I know I'm fine. My aunt, she used to eat even the soil from the, the one that you can pick from the ground. When it starts raining, the soil gets wet. You feel the, the smell of soil. Yes, every time when it's like that, I feel like, yo, I must go and buy it. It's a pistol. It's because of the time I'm pregnant, I'm pregnant. I'm pregnant. I'm pregnant. I'm pregnant. i pregnant. pregnant. Oti umbana wake wapumane skumba leso mile, nelbala lake begu ngatilishile. Oti naga enli lengane sisusake, siyabopana. Can you say skin as well? Sorry, I tried it inside. Yeah. Okay, let's get a let's see so let's see if it's sitting inside. Mom can get a toilet. Miss Bega Ekanda, who's in Kongu Siza. Still, Bento lena y y y yung klawa tisa na ez yung klawa tisa na yung short bread. Kana magig na short bread. Yung klawa tisa yung klawa tisa ako kat ez ito ni. Yung akto yung akut ko na ba yung bantu bani bani yung tu zanin. Since ba yung klawa tisa since isusu sa kina kisya ko asa ko nu bili mo ang ato munto pregnant isusu si bangga. I think it because of na u u ni esit. Gepa senga ti ino lenga mpilisa, ikona kona le magete la gatenga kona lo mshabati. Ito mele nyeze uguti ntinga mapilisa kona, oru nize ispinachi, uguti zinjalo, uguti lagu hilda ma vegetables. And then eni ito futo mele nyeze wakuli ipi tuti, nene mpuza nekire nipori chuzi. Mwa kweguja umshabati mnyaga lengu seven, loyis uti gwa mele guti akete mkatini wegufa negupi. I started getting sick 
every now and then my stomach, I was complaining, telling my mom that I'm not feeling well. I, I could feel like stomach cramps, like my, my stomach is hard. Even when I touch it, you can feel like it's hard. At home, people would think you are bewitched or something. No one thought it was because of that claim. Nyanga ye kula, wakze na sega lova na se skolweni. Wesha ga kulu na se mtimbeni. I was not able to eat, and at that time I was only able to eat that clay. Food, I couldn't eat food. Most of the things I couldn't eat, but I didn't know it was because of, until I went to the doctor, and when the doctor told me, then he, he prescribed some medication for me, then he told me, because he told me that uh, those things caused uh, ulcers. I've developed ulcers in my stomach and uh, the wounds are very big. He told me that I must stop eating spicy food. I must uh, stop eating anything that is hard. I must try by all means eat soft things. And I, must, I mustn't also wait until I'm hungry, like hungry, hungry to eat. I must make sure I eat something in between because if my stomach is empty, empty, it's gonna cause the ulcers to get worse. So yeah, so that's, and then he also told me to stop with the clay. It was not easy, but with the pain that I was feeling that time, I had to make a decision that I must stop this clay in. Gepa yini le, lebe yenda gutao haugele gangara lo mshabati. You said something like, Sometimes it's, it's because if your body is in short of iron, it might cause you to crave for that. Yeah, that's what he said. Yes, so I remember that when, among the medication that he gave me, he also gave me some iron tablets. He told me I must eat uh, things like spinach, I must eat uh, beetroot, and I don't like it. Sek pelem nyaga lenge tulu gwa 15 lo yis ayege la gula umshabati. Ge pa si funvole ga si funza angege as koshwe. I believe that growing your own vegetable is also healthy. Because ever since I'm, I'm trying by women to, to monitor everything that I eat. So I've realized if I have my own garden, then every now and then I pick my onions from the garden, the vegetables. Dogotela Chantal Witten, usebenda eskungwe nse mfundule pageme i Vets University e Jozi. Kutigu la umshabati ingo kwe tempilo kutiwa iji ofaja. Ganti kutuwa elegi ile mshaben wonke jigelele ila kulugati gubomage. 50% of women are not getting enough iron in their diet. 50% of women are also losing a lot of iron through menstrual uh, menstruation. You need more iron when you're pregnant because you have to give the, the baby also iron. Because they have a deficiency in iron or they have a deficiency in zinc, the taste buds stimulate that taste of dustiness. And so they go for that dusty taste. So what tastes like dust is earth or bricks. So sometimes you'll see children even licking the red bricks because they want that taste. So it's usually the taste that is fueling or driving the, the need to eat earth or eat clay. Dogo Della Witten, uti gunga bine ayan le anelem dimbeni, gunga dala i anemia. Anemia when, is you, when your body doesn't have enough iron. And iron in the body actually carries the oxygen. We call that your hemoglobin. So when we test it, we're looking for hemoglobin. And the hemoglobin carries the oxygen in your blood. So if you will become anemic, your body actually can't carry the oxygen. So you feel very tired, very lethargic. You slow in your emotions. Your cognitive function is depressed. You're not as sharp, sharp as you should be. Njengo basega kazi le toko tela guti umshabata ugo nigi ayon. Ngabe ufige wende nige emtimbeni. Sometimes the, the source of the clay might be infected with worm um, eggs or worm larva. So if you're eating dirt, you're more likely to have parasite infection. So then you'll get worms. 
And again, the worms will be eating what you eat. So instead of the food you're eating should be nourishing your body, you will actually be feeding the worms. And when you've got worms, worms tend to also cause um, bleeding of the gut. Because now the worms are in the gut, they are also eating at the gut, so now you have a little bit of infection in the gut and you start to bleed and therefore you're also now losing blood and losing iron. You might have constipation, you might even get diarrhea, you might feel nauseous and vomit. Dinengike, dinkolelo mayela na negula umsabati. Jenge guti unematimoni, uloyiwe, noma autati gashe nsho. It's definitely forms part of mental health because addictive behavior is mental health. We know that micronutrient deficiency again is affecting mental health. It affects memory, it affects um, cognitive function. It even affects things like dementia and Alzheimer's. So we know that what you eat and what's lacking in your diet can affect, physically affect the brain. For our pregnant women in our facilities, both private and public facilities, all pregnant women get subs, um, supplemented with iron folate. We do have iron supplements, we have iron tablets that women take, we have iron supplements that is syrup that we can give to children. I think if I start They helped um, practitioners. I think they need to take it serious in as much as they take malaria and in as much as they take um, AIDS and other diseases. That thing also, because it's killing people.